I don't remember the last time I've ever done a what's in my bag video and well at least this is gonna be a stationary like at least it's gonna be a stationary what's in my bag edition so hi guys welcome back and I wasn't really intending on doing a video like this but it seemed like a good idea I haven't used this actually I haven't used this pouch in a long time but I got this when I was in Hong Kong with Anna last January one of the reasons why it stayed clean or at least until how it looks like now is because I wasn't able to get scotch guard or I couldn't find any so I got this this is a water and stain repellent spray and it's really for sneakers to be honest but I mean if it's good enough for stuff on the floor on the ground it's gonna be good enough for a bag that's gonna be on a table I just don't want it dirty or like with stains and stuff so I mean considering the luck that I have sometimes I it is gonna get dirty once in a while but this gives me a little peace of mind so it's not as heavy as it seems really I mean it's not like my entire desk is inside this so let's look inside okay the main reason why I have a pouch like this is because pouch what do I keep calling it pouch the main reason why I have a bag like this is because though there are times that I have to like meet up with friends after work or if I'm too early in the office I'd rather be playing with my stationery to be honest so I bring this again it's not supposed to have my entire desk with me so let's go of course uh, I'm gonna have my planner with me this is the traveler's notebook in the passport size and this has been my everyday carry for the past few months I think I started using this during the second half of the year and I really honest to goodness enjoyed being in this planner I don't know why it took me so long to use this I feel bad but I might because I had every intention of using this again for 2025 but the thing is take a note release a weekly slim insert which has um two weeks on one spread or two weeks on one yeah on one spread but anyway that's a different topic we're gonna talk about later maybe but anyway so i'm gonna do a maybe this video should be what's in my bag and pre techo kaigi vlog i don't know but whatever we talk about here maybe i'll just figure out the title later but anyway so this is the traveler's notebook and the passport size and i have been using it religiously and i really enjoy it and i feel like i should be using this for next year because it has been the one of the most efficient systems i've planned in it's not like i have the biggest handwriting to accommodate but i like it and my I don't know it, it just works for me I know this isn't a popular option for most because I don't think people write this small also but it really works for me it's efficient it's small it's handy and I can just stuff it in my bag if I wanted to even if I didn't have a pouch with me bag bag stationary bag I keep calling it a pouch because it's really that small anyway so yeah this is what I have the months have never changed for me like how i use it and stuff and mostly it keeps track of bills bill juice and i hate missing out on paying bills I mean, it's not like my favorite thing to do is to pay bills but i just don't want to be late in paying it so i don't want to be hassled by it at all and this keeps me on track of everything that i have to do I haven't filled out September as much because I was yeah that's another story but anyway so October I have schedules already written here and I am excited to flip through this for the entire year when it's done another thing that I have in this um, passport size is a sticker refill thing although I'm not really decorating on the planner it's just that I have this since in my 
bag I also have my journal anyway so I might as well keep it here and these are washi cutouts so they're not necessarily the stickers that I usually bring and keeping it here handy is useful because I don't have to be worried about not having enough or also that I like having this um, sticker refill paper is like you know when packaging has stickers or when you eat out and stuff I kind of put it here I don't know why maybe I'm just silly but yeah so I have this one I also have this um from subway in Canada so I just keep it there and then lastly I have the July December dated insert from the travelers company the thing that I'm looking forward to the most with um, take a note is that they're coming out with that slim weekly insert it's dated it's weekly on two sorry it's week on one page yeah so it's week one week two and it's gonna be in one book for the entire year and since I don't exactly stick so much things in this I am looking forward to having just one planner or like one insert for one year and I think I believe it's gonna work for me because if say this was an entire week already one week here and one week here and I just put like I just divide it into two columns it's exactly what I needed to be already and yeah so I think I've talked about this before but just in case you're new here hi I usually put like plans for the day if i have work or where i have to be or where my dad has to be these are all on the left side of the day and then um for the things that i've done for the things that i was i was able to finish and all that stuff i put it on the right side so i get to keep track um i get to keep track of things and i know when it's easy to like look when and where everything's fixed and i'm not like thinking if i've done if i'm done with the stuff that i need to do mostly errands and all so it really works for me having this but then again there's so much space that i can do and i can use the thing is with planners i am trying to find something that works for my kind of lifestyle again my life is very routinary even at work so it doesn't really change as much i don't have much appointments or schedules and all that so it's not like i have to keep track of too many things that i have to be at so i don't need that much space again i ideally it's you making use of the planner I know there's so much out there to choose from and of course I'm really excited like to try new things but I feel like I'm wasting so much paper or I don't know I feel like I'm wasting so much because I know I'm gonna come back to the traveler's notebook as a planner anyway as a system because it's minimal and it just really works for me I got a few questions how come I've never I haven't posted anything yet on what I'm gonna use for 2025 maybe this is gonna be a pre Techo Kaigi vlog and what's in my bag now but anyway so I haven't really people ask about it and it's just that I don't really I mean it's only October it's still 2024 and 2025 is still like months away and I don't feel the need to have everything i mean sure it's exciting i want to decorate it and stuff but i'm still not going to be able to use it so this is still going to be the, what's stuffed in my bag that's not for the planner talk i hope if you have any questions let me know i'll try to answer them but i'm getting away from the topic of what's in my bag but i felt like it's a good idea to have it all in one vlog because i really didn't know how to talk about the um what's up the pre Tetsukaigi thing but yeah look at me talking so much I have been using the take a note and a6 and this is my memory keeping journal this is where all the goodies are so 2025 planner thoughts or like journal thoughts I know that I can't journal in a day per page so ideally for me it's going to be like a combination 
and which is why I am looking to use the PAL planner again for 2025. I've used it last year or the year before lot, I think. And I really like the pages, but we'll see. And yeah, so back to like choosing what journal to use. I know I can't fill out an entire page per day because not much, again, not much really happens. Well, in my lifestyle anyway, at least. So it doesn't seem practical for me, but this is the Take a Note in A6. And I have been enjoying this really. And I figured out ways and how to use the monthlies. I figured that like the monthlies can have like these little pictures and stuff it's like a reminder of like a summary of what the month was all about and what was fun about it and all and i've been doing that if you notice there are these little writings on top those were from the um what do you call that it was from the chinese new year predictions and stuff and it seemed like a fun thing to write although sometimes I don't know it's just a good guide it's not like it's going to dictate my entire life but yeah it's just a good and fun guide to have on top of it so there these are the month as it goes and I haven't finished it even really and I still want to finish it This has gotten a bit chunky, to be honest, and I don't really mind because it's not like a per day thing again. Maybe a real flip through soon, but this is how my pages look like in the take a note. I really am not, I mean, I enjoy the A5 too. I miss the space of the A5, but part of me wants to fill in pages so badly I mean for my satisfaction at least but sometimes i don't have anything to write i do want to get creative and like stick like collages and stuff but there's not much activity at times like um like this one i didn't expect really to be going to canada when i started planning for 2020 for 2024's planner but this seemed like a bright idea anyway and i liked having it here but I do have a lot of pictures and one of the things that I want to do again is I want to start using my Canon QX10 which I haven't been using really and I've always been using the Canon mini photo printer and I don't know I just want to use it more often and since the PAL planner is a week on one spread I think I'll be able to put in more photos without it bulking too much because of the pages and stuff. So yeah, I there there are still spaces in this journal, and I don't mind as long as I have something written. I'm happy to just be using it, and yeah, it's it it's my creative escape from everything else, and I do honest to goodness have fun doing this, like that. And I don't think I've ever. Oh well, yeah, I still need to catch up on a few pages, but yeah. So this is my take a note in A6. This is the Superior Labor Olive cover. I forgot. I think this is a this was in 2022 or something like that, but yeah. Next and the bag. Oh yeah, so any other journal suggestions is that So yeah, it's going to be the pal planner for me on 20 in 2025. I'm also looking at the R's planner because it's just really cute. I have no idea what to use it for yet, but yes, these are happy planner problems. I mean, I have more problems anyway. I might as well pick the happy ones. So these are the two main things inside this uh, bag. See, it's a bag. It's not a pouch. Of course, if you're going to journal, you're going to need pens and oops. See, it's gonna be like it's gonna flop okay now it flops if you're gonna journal you're gonna need pens and though I don't really bring much like supplies like scissors and stuff 
I am complete with my pens and this is what is in my pen pouch. This again is another superior labor case. It's the same as the material that is on the A6. Also on the A5, but I'm not using an A5 yet again. So these are what's in my pen pouch. I have the this is the okay, I'll talk about each pen maybe. This is the Sailor Manio Chestnut. And I am so glad I got this pen because some of the Sailor Manio green pens, they were really nice, but the nibs were gold and I'm not exactly a fan of gold. So this is ha this has a silver nib. One of the things that made that delayed me in getting this is that next pen I have is another Sailor pen. It is the Stealth Green. But my problem with this is that when I was using the original black nib, I just can't figure out why it won't write as smooth as the other nibs. So I just changed the nib into a silver nib instead. I got one of my um, Sailor pens nibs and transferred it here. All of these pens have been custom nib ground to an EEF. So they all kind of write the same except for the Lamy one because Lamy seems to just be s extremely juicy. This is the Lamy pen I'm talking about. I'm not really a fan of Lamy because it seems scratchy at times. So I don't know why this... Well, I know why because it's green. But I got this when I was in Canada in Reeds. I was in, Alber I was in Calgary and I was so excited that I saw that they were going to be... Um, selling this because apparently it's not going to be sold into all retailers so i'm glad to be able to get this and i also grabbed this in extra fine but since i haven't done i haven't sent it for a nib grinding job yet i got one of my old lamy pens i got their nibs and switched it again so it's really not a shocker anymore by now and lastly i have this green kaweco um, in Aurora it is one of my favorite pens I'm really like changing things and trying to stick to a color and obviously it's gonna be green because everything revolves around green now for me and I just want to stick to it I don't want to keep buying everything pretty because I don't have the space and with the plans that I have I am hoping to keep it minimal at most so these are the things inside this pen case all of the inks are green by the way just in different shades and I think I am enjoying that I have just one shade of color for all my writings I used to have I used to not like really mind having different inks in my pages until I don't know I think I just got old and I just wanted like it to be uniform I don't know maybe it really is age so anyway, that is what's in my pen pouch. With when it comes to fountain pens, um, you, it's hard to say you can't or you won't buy so much, because the only way you'll figure out what works for you, is if you actually try it. I usually do carry a pilot vanishing point, and it's just in another pouch. But I wouldn't have figured out these are the pens that I like if I wasn't able to try other pens and sometimes I don't want to touch other people's pens because I know people take care of them differently and the last thing I want to do is maybe scratch them up I mean for some it doesn't matter for some it does and some like may some some don't like the caps being posted on their pens and all that so it's really a matter of preference and as much as I want to say that I am trying not to keep buying stuff or something to that effect there's really no other way of finding out what works for you until you actually buy it luckily you can sell it but of course it's gonna be at a lower price but there are other people who are gonna appreciate it and that's a good enough thing for me rather than having it like just in my pen case
there's two more things here, but I think I should talk about this first. I am never leaving the house without this. I I can't. Uh, normally, this is gonna be stuffed in my bag, but since I had this bag, I just had it here. I know this is the Kindle Oasis 3rd edition or something. They have stopped producing this because the Kindle now has, I think, three or four new units released. I was hoping that they came out with a smaller one. I really wanted the books Palma and it's gonna be the size of your phone but I couldn't just buy it because of the extra stuff it had that I didn't need and for the price point it just wasn't worth it if I was gonna use like some of the stuff it had anyway so I have this I have the Kindle Oasis now last that's in my bag is the sticker stash and of course I have a lot more stickers at home but this is what I bring these are the newer ones I know I have a lot more stickers at home and this is just what I bring I'm thinking if I'm gonna go through all the stickers here but what the heck I have this I just keep this here these are the stickers that I got from Banff when I was in Alberta and yeah, I want to put this, I don't even know if I want to stick this on my new Traveler's Notebook inserts for 2025, but definitely I'm keeping those. More stickers. If you've seen my recent um, sticker haul, these are mostly the same items inside, but yeah, so I don't think I need to go through everything, but just in case you're interested, this is what's inside. I have appreciated like sellers having like for washi instead of buying full rolls I know oh yeah I, I need tweezers all the time so I keep this here I no longer buy full rolls oh, these are the stickers that I oops these are the stickers I okay never mind these are the stickers that I have why is it oh yeah there so I just like having you don't have to have this much I mean come on we, we, we know that by now but I just like having this ready in my bag and it's just fun it's more like a it's such a comforting to have comforting thing to have in my pouch like this on a daily basis and it doesn't really it doesn't really take so much weight anyway so these are just the stickers that I have ideally I get to use it and stuff and there's just that happy feeling of having stickers uh, maybe I never outgrew it when I was a kid or maybe I still am a kid I'm just an old kid yeah but at least I'm a kid with stickers anyway so these are the things that are in my um, journal bag pouch Thing. and it can get more believe me it could be more but I try really not to because there aren't even any stamps here there aren't even any stamp inks or whatever but really I don't really think I'll be like bringing out my stamp stuff in a coffee place or something but this is the main reason why I don't really mind waiting for people when they're late because not that you can be late but I really don't mind because I have this with me all the time. If not in this pouch, maybe in another pouch. But everything's going to be... I'm going to be busy and happy and maybe caffeinated. So I'm not really going to be complaining. So there you go. That's what fits in this little pouch. Normally I have some... Oh yeah, I have a brass clip too. Normally I have other bags to bring. But since I've... I don't know I'm back in like my tote bag girl era thing kind if I but I don't really I don't like stuffing my tote bags because I really like the slouch you get when you like that's another video maybe if you're interested in handbags as well but I'm not I don't have the most handbags but I do like bags too I'm not really kind of a trendy person I just like it if I like it does that make sense yeah, 
But anyway, so these are the things that are inside my little journal bag. It could get more, believe me. I could bring more, but this is normally what I just have if I'm going to work. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is such an impromptu, not prepared video and all that. But I'm getting used to it, like talking and telling you stuff while doing stuff. And yes, if you enjoy this video, please let me know. Um, yeah, I'll try to make more of these things. And oops, I'll try to make more of these things. And I'll try to keep like vlogging and all that. Because I am kind of enjoying it, to be honest. I feel like I'm too old for this, but yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it. So this is what's inside my little journal bag, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!